So here I am. <clears throat> I was supposed to have left at about 7.30 this morning. And uh, the first bus that I, that I got on, they tried to um, shove me back in the back with the cargo, with all the luggage. And I know that story. It doesn't end with the luggage. There's live animals to come. There's all kinds of stuff that buses and, and minivans pick up along the way, uh, which makes the experience of traveling uh, much more difficult uh, as the hours go on. Second minivan I get on uh, <coughs> died <laughs> uh, with this giant. I don't know what you call these things. Or they're basically they sit them out in front of the house or inside the living room, and they basically just kind of they lounge around on them. This is the this is the bus I've got here. In any case, um, it died, and <clears throat> they pulled up to one uh, mechanic shop, and they were like, "Oh well." Uh, the mechanic kind of gives it a nod, you know, and he's just completely filthy, just covered in oil. Looks like he's always looked that way. And then we, we get on the road and it clunks and clamors and bangs around. We get here and it clackety clacks its way up into this area. And now we've got a guy well, banging something into place and then, and then welding it down, which is tons of fun to watch. I'm going to be on the highway with this thing. It's going to be very entertaining to see if uh, it even makes its destination, which is Crache. And as I realize uh, that I could have uh, simply been crammed in uh, with the livestock and the cargo on another minivan uh, or trade it for this experience, I, I kind of realized that uh, navigating the everyday challenges in Cambodia pretty much boils down to uh, choosing the lesser of just a list of horrible experiences. <laughs> you're, just, you're just not going to have a comfortable ride in Cambodia. It's not going to happen. Well, I don't know how we did it, but apparently he got first gear to work again. I guess there was... I guess some magic dust flew into the intake on the... Uh, at some point, when we were completely out of first gear. There was no first gear. We had to rattle to a start in second gear. We had it fixed. We got to hand it to him. That was 10 and 13, which is 23 minutes. 23 minutes for a welding job and a bang, bang it in place job. And we're leaving the ghetto. So I've stopped by uh, the, the roadway, the roadside uh, market here on the way to Crache and uh, just kind of checking out the local delicacies and they've got baby chicken. Uh, baby chicken on a stick next to that. And they've also got a little stick of toads. 
skewered through the back of the head. They smell salty and interestingly enough, they, they almost smell fishy. I'll leave those. Uh, yeah, looks like they also have shrimp cakes, fried shrimp cakes, and what look like sausage balls. Nobody here speaks any English whatsoever, so I'm not going to get any answers on what these actually are, but that's that. Uh, <laughs>